Hi, Ignacio here with North Star Senior Advisors, and I want to welcome you to our next episode here on the North Star University. It's an educational series. We discuss clinical and non-clinical topics alike. Today's topic is going to be mental health and cognitive fitness. So I'll start with mental health. We know that mental health does not discriminate regardless of age. Uh, it can have a significant impact on us if we don't have that under control or if we're not keeping an eye on our mental health. So obviously as we age, that progressively has the potential to get worse. So some things to look out for are gonna be social isolation. It's gonna be a big one for our seniors and the mental health. Um, ways to avoid this, of course, would be through some socialization, whether that's church, church group, uh, friends, neighbors, and families. Having that network is gonna be important. Of course, there's different factors that may impact our mental health, but I would say definitely the lack of socialization uh, can be a potential uh, big one. So you want to keep an eye on that, of course. Uh, the other thing is our cognitive fitness. We know that as we age, we forget things and that can be normal. Uh, so you want to look at things like puzzles, you want to look at war games, even music, uh, maybe even languages, right? So there's different things you could do to kind of work out your brain from a cognitive perspective if you were to be proactive in that process, okay? If at any point that becomes a concern, whether it's your mental health or your cognitive function, uh, you wanna get checked. So especially on the cognitive side of things, there's a bunch of different types of free screenings out in the community that you can potentially set up for yourself to see what's going on from a cognitive perspective. Uh, and then of course, if it's a significant concern, uh, you should schedule an appointment with your primary care physician, or maybe even a neurologist, depending on the concern. Um, potential significant concerns around mental health, of course, as we know, is different levels of anxiety, all the way from mild to severe anxiety. And then, of course, depression, which can be not so good and can impact our seniors even more. Be besides just the social isolation, it can impact appetite, uh, just their overall well-being. So we want to make sure that we're bringing awareness to mental health and cognitive fitness. Okay, so get that checked out if that is a concern with your physician. Look at your network, whether it's family, friends, uh, for help. And then, of course, a lot of folks don't realize this, but if the time comes and you want to consider senior living, in assisted living, there's a great deal of activities, socialization, nutrition, um, and so there's, there's, it's an environment where folks can definitely thrive. So if you've been home alone for a while um, and things have just not been so good with the uh, isolation and you may need some care, of course, considering assisted living could be a great option to kind of check all those boxes in terms of what you may need. So uh, just some tips. If you have any other questions, you can let us know here. Uh, stay tuned for our next episode on North Star University.